Bitch, I'm about to blow up. Uh huh. Say what? Bitch, I'm about to blow up. What's up, guys? Silent Mike, Super Training Gym. Q&A here. Oh, that Mark Bell's Powercast. Check that out. iTunes, subscribe, figure us out. Every Wednesday we're dropping a new podcast. Working hard to get you the best guests. Um, here I am answering more questions, man. Got these ones off Instagram. Here we go. Oh, man, I got to scroll through. I, I lost my spot already. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? How much lat work do you do in order to maintain proper shoulder health? Um, just lat work's not really going to um, do it. How do I phrase this? Lat work is very important to keep your shoulders healthy, but it's more important just because we tend to press so much. If you're not over pressing, if you're not a power lifter, you may not have this issue. Typically, bodybuilders are a little bit more balanced than us with their training, but obviously bench pressing is part of our sport, so we do a lot of it. Uh, I like to use um, face pulls a lot, just with a band or with a cable, and then obviously lat work and just rows, chin-ups, pull-ups, all the basics. I'll do them uh, two to three times a week uh, in terms of um, how many exercises? Maybe two to three, three to five sets. Number one tip for a bigger squat. Currently, I have a massively overpowered deadlift and can't seem to bring up my squat. Um, I think that's kind of common in beginners to have a, a get a little bit more uh, weight out of your deadlift than your squat. If you're squatting one time a week, maybe bump it up to two times a week. Always working on form. Once you kind of lock in your form, uh, hop on a you know any kind of program, uh, and it'll boost your squat a little bit. But once you get your technique down, you'll feel a lot better. What are some exercises I can do to prevent my knees from caving in on the squat? Uh, same thing, once your technique's kind of in, once you learn how to screw your feet into the ground and get some torque in your hips, your knees will be more likely to, to fire out. Uh, also, warming up with the hip circle will help. Um, and box squats are good exercises. Any kind of sumo deadlift might help too. I don't train calves. You are correct. It's not part of my sport. Uh, any recommendations for a bench press uh, after a torn pec? Uh, one, I'd see a doctor. You know, I'm not a doctor. I don't want to say anything, but that is why the slingshot was uh, invented. It can help relieve a ton of pain in your pec and shoulders while pressing. Um, what else we got? Why why not strongman over powerlifting? Strongman's cool, and I definitely respect it. I don't know if it's for me. Uh, I don't know if my little joints can handle it. My knees might just explode with some of that stuff. It looks a little too tough for me, to be honest. Um, those guys are savages. <laughs> I want to stop being a weak fuck on bench. I'm sorry, man. Uh, he competes on May 30th. I don't even know what day it is today. He just had a near miss with 315. He's got a level slingshot. Uh, any tips? I mean, the bench, you're obviously using smaller muscles. It's going to take a little longer to progress over time. Uh, just stay at it. I personally like to heavy, uh, bench heavy almost every other week. I kind of do a rotation where you know we bench Thursday, Sunday. So Thursday, I'll do like a heavy bench. Sunday will be speed bench. Following Thursday will be like volume or rep bench. Just kind of rotate like that. It's kind of like a condensed cube. Bye, Brandon Lilly. Bird dog. What are some flexi uh, flexible dieting websites, apps to start and stay on flexible dieting? You know, flexible dieting, uh, it is kind of of a fad and stuff, but it's not really like a diet. It's just um, track your foods and kind of stay as consistent as you can. I use MyFitnessPal. Uh, it's just a simple app to start tracking stuff, and they just updated. It. It's cool. They have like a verified thing that shows you like, hey, like this is a true, a true statement on how the macronutrients and the uh, nutrition laid out. Because uh, in the past, I believe anybody could add it in there. Uh, so I could say like, oh, like uh, six ounces of water has 12 grams of protein, and then you click on that, and then your whole day is jacked up. How deep are Smelly's cheeks? Smelly's got a big old bodybuilder butt, man. Deep cheeks. If you guys don't know about deep cheeks. Go listen to, uh, I believe it's the very first John Anderson po uh, Powercast. Are we going to the Europa? We are not. Uh, the main events we kind of go to are the Olympia, Arnold, LA Fit Expo, San Jose Fit Expo, and that's about it for now. We're a very small team, so maybe in the future we'll get to something like that. Why do you tuck your hat into your ears, uh, or your ears into your hat, excuse me? Basically because I kind of have a small head. If I don't, my ears will stick out even more. That's not a very good look. So I tend to just tuck them in just a little bit. Pop that hat out. It's a little big. The pump. That's why. It may be douchey, but my head's too small. I can't, like, pluck that thing down. Behind that, I feel like uh, if you're going backwards, you can kind of sit it on the top. It's still kind of stylish. Say what's up to Muhammad Ali back there. Just kicking it. <laughs> How bad is it to be pulling over under grip for a long time? Does it really put your back into unbalanced badly? 
Um, I think it can over time. Uh, you can use a little, lose a little bit of external rotation when you. This is always your overhand here. Um, I think warming up often. I suggest to go double over as long as you can. And then with lighter weights, uh, why not switch it up? Uh, just in case that you do get imbalanced. Uh, I do feel like this pec gets a little bit tighter over time because that's my overhand. Maybe it's just me. Do I think Ed Cohn's narrow sumo stance had the round back advantage of a sumo and the lack of range of motion of a su as a sumo? Maybe he means round back advantage of a conventional and the lack of range of motion of a sumo. Um, I wouldn't actually say like there's a huge advantage to sumo or conventional. It's very uh, dependent on like how you're built, um, your leverages, and then also your strengths. Uh, Ed Cohn pulled, I don't know, 880 or something conventional and then... 902 sumo something like that don't quote me but it's something like that so i don't think that he was like cheating or pulling some weird trick <clears throat> anybody can pull with a, a narrow sumo and you're not going to pull like that uh just find what works best for you and train it hmm when am i growing a full beard i wish i could man i just kind of go with the scruff because it gets a little sketchy after a while if it gets too long it gets a little stringy too short i got a fat face we'll see uh, optimal amount of squatting, deadlifting, and benching per week. Uh, this is very uh, independent. Um, too many factors to go involved, but uh, I typically say squatting one to three, maybe even four, depending on how advanced or what your program is. Uh, benching one to three, deadlifts one to two. Uh, personally, I rotate uh, deadlifts. I pretty much only deadlift once a week. Bench, I go two. Uh, and then squat, sometimes I'll go uh, one, two, or three. Right now, I'm just kind of in a cruising phase, trying to just squat once a week. <laughs> Someone said, nice hat. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Multi-purpose wraps versus the gangster wraps. Uh, if you're not familiar, I work for the company Slingshot by Marco Bell. Uh, and he's referring to two different types of wrist wraps or like uh, that we make. Um, the gangster wraps are very popular, um, but they're a little too stiff for me. I prefer the multi-purpose wraps. Both actually are multi-purpose based on the thumb loop that they have. You can uh, YouTube or Google the video. There's a bunch of videos showing how to use them. You can wrap them on your knees or elbows if you're having pain. Um, I just like the multi-purpose because they're a little stretchier, a little bit softer material, uh, and a 26-inch wrap's enough for like support for me to bench and squat with. Uh, Mike, for your next Q&A, will pulling sumo once every week take its toll on the hips, or is it adequate stretching, uh, foam rolling enough to deal with this? Um, there's tons of guys that pull sumo three times a week. Uh, it's so dependent on, on personal preference and what your hips can take and what's your mobility like and what's your forms like. Uh, the better form you have, the harder and more often you can train an exercise. Someone said make another uh, battle video with Omar. I will if I could, but he's in Toronto and I'm in California. It's a little bit different. That might be it, man. I'm through all these dang questions already. Hit me up with your questions, guys. This is video number four, I believe. Thanks for everything. Um, subscribe if you like this stuff. I'd love a share, a like, whatever. I don't like to beg. Everybody begs. Uh, check out Mark Bell's PowerCast. And that's it, guys. I'm out.